Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to create geometry light in Houdini Solaris. Okay, so let's move into Houdini. So over here, I already created one setup in which I have one simple statue, one backdrop, okay, one geometry that basically gonna to be light and one camera. Okay, and I just look through that particular camera. Okay, so now I will show you the process to create geometry light. Okay, so to do that, there are mainly two process. One is you have to call this render geometry setting in which you have to define a primitive uh, like this one, geolight. Okay, that you want to convert it into light. Okay, so I just drop that particular primitive over here then you have to drop down come over here in light click over here set to create and treat as light source you can say this yes okay so this is first step then you have to create material so for that reason i am going to create material library just go inside this particular stuff and i just create MTLX standard surface as well as I am going to create one principal shader also. So what am I supposed to do over here MTLX light shader and this is my principal shader light shader. Okay, so I am going to show you both the way and you just decide on which way you prefer. So first of all, I'm going to show you that material X standard surface. So you just need to select that particular thing. Over here in parameter panel, you have to go to emission. Just define a proper emission and define like over here, I prefer to define some temperature. Come outside of this particular thing. Assign material in which I just define the geometry that I want to define as light, geolight. And over here material, so right now I just define this material X light shader into this. Okay, now you render this particular thing through karma. See, you will get a proper light. Same way, if you go inside this particular stuff, go to principal shader, over here, in your first surface tab, at the last you get this emission. I just set it to 10. Again, over here, maybe I just apply something like this. And in assign material, I just define this principal shader. And you will get like this. Okay, now the benefit with principal shader is something like, for example, I just go inside this geometry light and I already created one attribute warp through which I just assign some color to this particular geometry. Okay, so point of that particular thing. So now I just come out, so out of this thing. Now I just click on this karma render. So right now it behave in the same manner. But if you go inside this material library, you just select this principal shader and you can use this use point color and see it emit the light based on the color on points okay so over here what i prefer i just create one more principal shader i just define preset aluminium come out of this stage, assign material, create one new. Over here, I just define the statue, define that principal shader that I created as matter. And see, you will get something like this. Now see, this rendered geometry setting has some more facility. Like 
for example, I want to create that light, but I do not want to render this light geometry. So you just select this render geometry. You just come over here in shading. In render visibility, I just set color and over here invisible to primary way. And see, now you can invisible that particular thing. Okay, so that's how you can create geometry light or you can say that mesh light in Solaris Hood. Hope you like this tutorial. See you soon with another tutorial. Thank you. Thank you.